Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 7, regular um expressions of CS50 introduction to programming with Python. If you would like to have full support from a programming expert via Telegram and group coaching, check the description below. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. So basically this problem, regular expression, we're gonna receive a message from the user, okay? And we have to count how many times the word um appears in the in this text. But it can't be the word um inside of a, of a word, of another word. It can't be a substring of a string. This um has to be a, a, a regular word here. For example, hello, um, word, regular um expressions. It won't accept the yummy the um that is inside the yummy okay so we have to work with this and later on we're gonna work with the with testing this code okay so i just copy and paste here this code that cs50 gave to us and i added in here okay so before we start let's understand what is regular expression a regex or regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern. The regular expression can be used to check if a string contains the specified search pattern. Python has a built-in package called RE, which can be used to work with regular expressions. So now that we understood how regular expressions work, we're going to start applying, okay? So what will be the purpose of using regular expression in our code? We're going to found we're going to try to find all the appearances where we have a specific the word um, all right? Or we don't have any letters before or after, only characters, okay? Character is now alphabetical. So to do this, let's understand how the find all function from regular expressions library works. The find all function returns a list containing all matches. The list contains the matches in the order they are found. If no matches are found, an empty list is returned. For example, if we want to find all the matches where the letters AI appears in our variable txt that holds the value the ring in Spain, we can simply do re.findAll and then the two parameters we're gonna pass in this find all functions are AI and the variable txt. The output will be a list with two elements, both AI. We have two elements in this list because the text has the words ring and spin. So like we saw, we're gonna use this find all function because it will return as a list with all the, the occurrences, the appearances for this mm, uh, word that we're looking for. And then we just need to get the length of this list and we know how many times we have this appearance, okay? So I'm gonna create a file, a variable called mm, list, okay? And we're gonna use the find all function. So we have to do re.findAll and we have to pass what is the pattern that we're looking for. So I'm gonna use here the test, the test. Okay, actually let's do this in here and then we test. So remember to use R for the raw strings. This is uh, something that CS50 asks us to do. Okay, uh, where is it? In this part, they tell us to use this R instead of just writing the regular expression. And we're gonna use take, take a look at this this part here. Note that slash b is defined the boundary between a slash w in on lower and a slash w in capital, or vice versa, or between blah 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 in the beginning of a string. So here we're gonna use the slash b to select a boundary. All right, and basically we wanna select we wanna ch we wanna get the word mm that it's that has no letters before or no letters after it can contain characters that are no alphabetical but it can't be letters okay so what are we gonna do in here we're gonna do this backslash b okay and to represent a character that is no alphabetical we're gonna do backslash w in capital okay and this can contain this can contain as much things that it wants. So, for example, if we have three dots before the letter um, it's fine, we're gonna count, okay? Then we wanna find the word um, and what we are expecting to have after, the backslash w. So, this way we avoid to receive, to get the word yummy. So, we say that we must find the word um without letters um, in front or behind this these two letters, okay? So let's test in here in our test 
regex. This is a really good website where we can test things. So for example, if I pass mm and three dots, it will tell us that there is a match. Okay, so it's working this part. But if I put yummy, yummy is not does not match with this, this string because yummy has one letter before and two letters after. So this regular expression is avoiding this error. Okay, and then the second parameter we have to pass to define all uh, function is what will be the string that we're manipulating. And here is the string that we're receiving, the letter S. Okay, so let's print this um, list here and check what is going on. So I'm gonna run the file python.py um, and the text, I'm gonna get this text here. Hello mm, world. Okay, let's test with this one. And if we run in here, we're gonna see that we have only one element in our list where is the um, uh, variable, okay? Now we need to count. So how can we count? We just need to word the length of this list. So we can just return length of um, list, okay? And if we run this again, if we run the file again, it will return as the number one. That is what we're expecting. Okay, we're expecting to receive a number. So, so far so good, everything seems to be working. Now we need to work with the testing file. All right, so let's understand how testing works. For example, we have a variable x equals to hello. If we want to check, we do x equals to hello, assert x equals equals goodbye. The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an assert error. In this case, the assert will raise an assert error because hello is not equals true goodbye. Thinking about another example where we want to check if our function is working. Let's suppose we have the file above. Def main, this is our main function and we're printing true square is and we're calling the function square passing the parameter true. Then we are defining our square function and our parameter is n and we're doing return n times n. If we want to test the square function we can run the test test underscore calculator.py where we do from calculator import square then we define our main function calling the function test square and then we define our test square function doing assert square true is equals to 4. In this test, the assert keyword will return true because the square of true is 4. This means that our function is working the way that it's supposed to. If we change the function with square by returning only n instead of n times n, once we run the test, the assert keyword will raise an assert error because our function is telling us that square of true is true, but it should be 4. This means that there is something wrong with the square function. So now we're gonna apply this assert keyword to test our file, okay? So CS50 is asking us to test at least three ways, in three functions, all right? The count function from um, uh, .py. So here I am importing count function from um, .py, okay? And I already created here three tests that we're gonna work. So let's build these three tests together. The first one will be testing in upper and lower case, the letter um. Okay, so I'm gonna do assert and we're gonna use the count function. And here inside, we're gonna put an expression, a message. I'm gonna take here the things that we have in this case. For example, um, things for the album. And here we have um in lower case right so here we're gonna put mm, and this should return us one okay we only have one case the other assert that i will do will be testing with two ca multiple cases um mm in capital and mm in lower okay and this should return us true equals to true okay now we're testing we're gonna test word with um now we're gonna test if yummy we receive at least if we receive number one okay for example yummy should return a zero so this will be our test in here so assert count if we pass the word yummy this should return a zero because we don't have any um inside and the other test will be test surrounded by spaces so i'm gonna do here count um, for example, surrounded by spaces, or we can do say like hello mm, world, oh, world, okay, actually I'm gonna do without, uh, without comma, and this should return as one, 
and we can do as well for example uh, this case here where we have um and question mark okay so we can do where is this case we can do this case in here that should count one all right so this should return as one if we run our python test so py test test underscore um dot py here we are not passing one case let's see so here we failed a test right and what is the issue here we have to specify that it doesn't matter the case so it should be case insensitive so to do this we're gonna do something from the regular expression that is read.ignore case okay this is a uh, something that we can use and uh, we're gonna ignore if it's lowercase or uppercase all right if we test this again we might pass all the tests okay so now we're passing all the tests let's do check 15 see if we got all green so like we are seeing here we got one thing that is wrong okay and this is because in here we should add a, a, a star okay to say that if we don't have anything after the word oh that's fine as well okay so if we run check 50 again it now will give us all green okay so this is basically it why i'm talking here i will let check 50 run but this is basically it if you enjoy our content please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any question you can send here on the comment or you can have full support from our programming experts by entering in our telegram group and having group coaching every week with us okay i hope you enjoy this content and see you in the next video let's wait for check 50 and then i can say bye bye and here all green all right that's it see you bye bye